Maggie de la Riva, whose full name was Magdalena Bilaba de la Riva, was a popular actress, TV host, and beauty queen in the Philippines during the 1960s and 1970s. She was born on September 15, 1938, in Bacolod City, Negros Occidental, and was the youngest of seven children. Maggie started her career in show business in the early 1960s as a model and commercial endorser. She then became a beauty queen and was crowned Miss Luzon in 1963. She later transitioned to acting and appeared in numerous films and TV shows, earning acclaim for her performances. However, her life took a tragic turn when she was abducted and raped in 1967. The harrowing experience left her traumatized and changed the course of her life. She became an advocate for women's rights and spoke out against sexual violence, using her platform and influence to raise awareness and help other survivors. Aside from her advocacy work, Maggie also became a successful businesswoman and philanthropist. She established a foundation that provided scholarships and financial assistance to underprivileged children and families in the Philippines. Maggie was married to Luis Nepomuceno, a film producer and director, for many years. They had two children together, including a daughter named Anna Marie who also became an actress. Maggie's legacy as a survivor, advocate, and philanthropist continues to inspire many in the Philippines and around the world. She is remembered for her bravery, resilience, and commitment to making a difference in the lives of others. Maggie de la Riva was a popular Filipina actress and TV host in the 1970s. In 1967, she was abducted, drugged, and raped by a group of men led by Osmeña Montañe, a wealthy businessman and son of a former Philippine senator. Maggie de la Riva was abducted on April 21, 1967, by a group of men who promised to take her to a party. She was drugged and raped repeatedly by the men for five days. After the rape, Maggie was left unconscious in a remote area in Antipolo, Rizal, but was later rescued by a passing truck driver. The case became widely known in the Philippines and sparked public outrage over the brutal crime. Osmeña Montañe and three other men were identified as the perpetrators and were later arrested and charged with rape. During the trial, Maggie bravely testified against her attackers, despite the shame and trauma she experienced. The trial lasted for almost a decade and ended with a guilty verdict for Montagne and his accomplices. They were sentenced to death, but the sentence was later commuted to life imprisonment. The case brought attention to the issue of rape and sexual violence against women in the Philippines and led to the passage of the Rape Victim Assistance and Protection Act in 1998. Maggie de la Riva continued to advocate for women's rights and worked with various organizations to help survivors of sexual violence. In 2015, Maggie passed away at the age of 76, but her legacy as a brave survivor and advocate for justice and gender equality lives on.